Good morning. Anybody like the nice brisk air out there? Help wake you up? Where are my campus days folks at? Woohoo! You guys excited or what? This is a pretty awesome week. And tomorrow night, um, wear short sleeves tomorrow night. It's going to be hot in here, guys. Just warning you. Because when people start worshiping in here, it gets hot. It gets really hot. And uh, I always say it makes, it makes you glad you're not going to hell because it'll be really hot in here. But the worship will be sweet. So we're going to be doing some new songs again this morning. Um, uh, so, hey, tell your neighbor, shh. You may have heard me say this before, but this time it will mean something. Um, remember, these, these are new songs, but each song has, uh, touches a part of your testimony that uh, has access to a part of your testimony that it doesn't for anyone else. So find out where those, learn to minister to the Lord from those places, those graces that he's touched you in your life, okay? And um, because what we want to do Friday night is capture this multifaceted testimony of God's love and his mercy and his grace and his power. And that comes when we all corporately respond vertically to him. Does that make sense? Are we cool with that? So dive into the songs head first. Own them. Make them your own. And um, let's tear the roof a new one. All right.
mercy is forever. You are good. You are good. You are good. Your mercy is forever. That's why he is greater than disappointment. Stronger. Come on. Higher than any other. Nothing can stand against Brighter than earthly glory Better and strong defense And at the name of Jesus Heaven begins to dance He's greater than disappointments He's stronger than sin's offense Higher than any other Nothing can stand against faithfulness can trust you, God, you Come on, let's make that declaration over our hearts.
We love it when you're close. We thank you that you are Emmanuel. You're never far away. You're always with us. But we just take this moment, Father, to acknowledge that you are here with us, that you love to be near us, and we're so grateful. We're so grateful.
think about where you were just a year ago. I believe in evolution because he changes us from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. The evolution of his spirit, not in, not in those scientific terms, to play on words. I mean the fact that he doesn't leave us where we were, but he's always making us new, refining us into the image of the glory of his son. So when you sing about the cross, when you sing about his mercy, and you can sing about it and it not mean anything to you, it's not because his grace has lost its worth, it's because your understanding of his grace has lost its meaning. And we need to occasionally remind ourselves, not in a condemning way, but in a way to look back and say, God, look at what you've done. You're so faithful. I would have been there, but somehow you got me here because you're just good and it's what you do, God. So I will thank you. Thank you for all. Come on with grateful hearts at sing. I will thank you. Thank you for all. Because he's done so much. I will thank you. Thank you for all. He's faithful, he's good, he's true. I will thank you. Thank you. just in your own words, thank him for the grace in your life, the mercy that he's shown you. He set you free from stuff. He's given you vision. He's healed your bodies. If he did nothing else, the price he paid on the cross to, to allow you entrance into an eternal, loving arms of a Savior, it's enough. If he never did anything else, but you know he will because he's a giver and you, you can't stop. We thank you, Father. You're so good. You're so faithful that you would give your son to us, your only son. Come on, a little bit more. Let's just practice this whole Thanksgiving thing. Just practice telling him how grateful you are. Use your words. Don't just think about it. Use your words. Release it. Release your testimony in the atmosphere. He paid a lot for that testimony. He paid a lot. He paid a very high price for that testimony. So just release it. Another reason is the enemy hates to hear it. It really ticks him off. And you thank the Lord for everything that he sets you free from. That you set me free from anger. You set me free from lust. He set me free from petty addictions, self-reliance. He set me free from insecurity. He's setting somebody free from arthritis right now in this moment. Somebody's got some spider veins, some varicose stuff. It's even been painful. The Lord is healing that. We just release faith in the house. As we thank you for the past gifts and pleasures that you've brought to our lives, he's even releasing right now present and future gifts to his kids. There's something about the heart of thanksgiving that preemptively releases the blessings of the Lord. 
When my daughter is thankful, I love to give her more stuff. Oh 
place God Lord this is another one of those songs where it's easy to, to declare that over the room that you're standing in but very often not your minds or your hearts we don't mind to have him come have his way in the room. We can watch it. It's fun. But turn loose of the rights to your own thoughts. Take them captive. Allow the Holy Spirit to just come in and teach you things about himself. There's a lot of things that we think about God that are not true. We have a lot of assumptions, a lot of broken personal theology, and it distorts what should be a vertical expression of worship. It shoots it off to the left or to the right because of our misunderstandings, misconceptions about his nature. So let's sing that one more time. So come. So come. personal paradigms.
worship with. But something else I want you to consider, even when we sing this song tomorrow night, um, last week I had uh, a plumber come over to the house and he was going to be there in an hour. And uh, when I found out he was coming, I started looking around the house and I went, oh my Lord, this place is dirty. There's just the toys all over the floor and, you know, just life. You know, it just happens. But the fact that I knew somebody was coming, a visitor was coming to the house, I realized I need to get some stuff lined up. I need to start taking care of some things. And when you live with that kind of presence of mind with the Lord, just inviting him to come, when you know that his visitation is not just impending, it's, it's always present. It helps you remember to keep your life in alignment because you always want to take care of the presence of this guest that you have. Does that resonate with anybody? You, you get what I'm saying? It's just when, when you know that the Holy Spirit is here and you're not by yourself, you're not isolated, that you always have these these wonderful eyes of love that are just right here next to you watching what you're doing. It helps you walk better. Okay, let's do this one.
take it up. Let's declare this over the nations. Thank you guys. Did you get healed and blessed and refreshed? And let's go take over the world or heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out some demons wherever you go. And above all else, love each other with a violent love. Okay? Go get them, tigers. Own them, make them your own, and um, let's tear the roof a new one. All right.
Good morning. Anybody like the nice brisk air out there? Help wake you up. Where are my campus days folks at? Woohoo! You guys excited or what? This is a pretty awesome week. And tomorrow night, um, wear short sleeves tomorrow night. It's gonna be hot in here, guys. Just warning you. Because when people start worshiping in here, it gets hot. It gets really hot. And uh, I always say it makes, it makes you glad you're not going to hell because it'll be really hot in here. But the worship will be sweet. So we're going to be doing some new songs again this morning. Um, uh, so, hey, tell your neighbor, shh. You may have heard me say this before, but this time it will mean something. Um, remember, these, these are new songs. But each song has, uh, touches a part of your testimony that uh, has access to a part of your testimony that it doesn't for anyone else. So find out where those, learn to minister to the Lord from those places, those graces that he's touched you in your life, okay? And um, because what we want to do Friday night is capture this multifaceted testimony of God's love and his mercy and his grace and his power. And that comes when we all corporately respond vertically to him. Does that make sense? Am I cool with that? So dive into the songs head first. Built upon mountain shape, creation. 
Real.